how to adjust my video. Yeah. I mean, audio, yeah. volume. Doing That's something. what I mean. Say, welcome. We're back and we're outside. And we're outside. So it's been a while. Truth will make update. Mm -hmm. So five weeks. <laughs> Yesterday was five weeks since my competition. Mm -hmm. And the last small mates update we did, I think, was six days before my competition. So we'll have to, we're going to try to make this one. This is me when I say we. I'm going to try to make this like a post show, I guess, slight recap. So I'll put some stuff in here. Um, you know, when I'll put stuff in here of the show, but what I was going to say is that whenever you're doing a show, and you're in it and you're getting ready for it. I don't ever think about doing video. Like, and he doesn't either. And it's just kind of like, you're really just trying to get there at that point and it's hard. So we do have some video, we do have some pictures, but um, I think we talked a little bit about, well, I guess we haven't talked about my results. I know I've probably talked about it on social media or something or another, but anyway, I should have brought my medals out here. So I got a first place and a second place. Of course, the, the second place was open, which is typical. Um, you know, I don't mean to be negative, y'all. I really have a positive attitude for the most part. But, you know, I always say it's, it's you against yourself. You're trying to be your best. But I think I was my best, like, yeah. show-wise. Like, I think I've improved. I think I improved. What do you think? I think you look pretty damn good. So I don't, I don't want to be like the Swan Mates update. It's just me talking. So anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll post the updates and whatnot. Oh. So right now, so it's been five weeks since my show. Um, I'm probably, I'm probably about five pounds heavier than my show. So I didn't like go off the deep end. I, I didn't like, because the hardest part is like, right after the show and probably a couple of weeks afterwards like you, i talked about this i think we talked about this on the six days out or we talked about it at some point like wanting yeah. to eat everything and needing a plan yeah, and all it was that on the six days the six days out one we um, were talking about needing a plan for when you come out of it because it makes it real hard but, yeah yeah so i mean i had a decent she's been plan. doing really good she hasn't gone crazy well, and, and it's like, you know, the first week or two after is when you really want to go crazy. And um, so then after your show, you know, your body needs to kind of recover a little bit, right? And you need to kind of build yourself back up calorie-wise, you know, before you just, you don't want to go just straight back into the gym trying to like set a personal record and all this stuff or whatever. Setting the PRs is not going to happen right after a competition you know you're kind of weak i feel weaker anyway um when you've been like calorie depleted for quite a while so what are your thoughts on that yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i always come out and and i go back into the gym and i get like one or two good weeks where i'm like wow i can't believe i'm still that strong and then all of my hormones are crashing and then <laughs> and then my body goes yeah no that was that's not for real you're not really gonna be like that and then i get smacked down and it's horrible Sit down my <laughs> it's like yeah it's, get in there and i mean you know just try and kill it and it doesn't work it works for a little bit it'll work for a little bit it'll work long enough that you could probably really seriously injure yourself i think sometimes too like people sort of need to like our our listeners viewers um you know put yourself into the situation like i know that i have coached a lot of females who have been in like a never-ending deficit like they go from one diet to another diet to another diet you know it's some kind of crash their yeah. calories are always super low and they're never in enough calories they never have enough calories to build anything right so it's almost like they've they've been in contest prep for like years yeah. and so they wonder why they're not making any changes you know and you i mean you probably don't see that a lot like with guys but um 
-hmm. you know, I, I mean, I'm just saying like from the standpoint of giving your body time to make progress, you have to build up over time. And so many women are scared of calories mm -hmm. and gaining weight. And I mean, like I've been there myself. I mean, I know like after a competition, one of the hardest things to see is like the scale just jump up really fast because it's going to, you know, and you kind of have to accept that. But I've coached a lot of women. It's the same thing. Like they're, they're on um, a keto diet or a really low carb diet. And then when they get the calories, the scale automatically jumps up from carbs Yeah, and they freak out. <laughs> Because the scale has gone up, but the scale is not the only indicator of what's going on. And, you know, carbs hold water. So the scale is going to go up. And you're going to pack your muscles with water and glycogen. Of course, you're going to gain weight. That's what you want, you, you know? know? And people, so many people are scared yeah, people, of people the scale. People hate the scale. I'm, I'm like, you yeah, know. So if the scale freaks you out, I would stay away from it. Yeah. So don't get bit. on the scale. I don't get on the scale very often. You know? I weighed myself last weekend. Okay, yeah. So we did we did progress pictures <laughs> um yesterday. And so um well he didn't weigh though, but he knew what he weighed like the week before. So we're going with that. Yeah. So we're saying like you were what 216? 216. So 216, we did his progress. Like I think he looks too. really good. I think your progress pictures look very good. And um, you know, so I feel like I don't feel like I'm at the like fluffy part. Well, my posing trunks are now an extra medium. So <laughs> there's a little bit of a muffin top on the, <laughs> on the put, those, put those in here too. Oh Lord. Yeah. Show the people me and my posing trunks. So what do you think is the most important? So I think it's really important for people to understand that you have to do something for long enough consistently enough to get to where you want to be well yeah but that's what we always say i know but you what know. do you think what do you think screws people up the most i think if you're a natural athlete what screws you up the most is probably your freaking hormones well especially as a competitor yeah like yeah, as, as, a, a, as, a natural, as a natural competitor right um it's it's crazy i'm gonna be honest i'm I'm actually on some hormone therapy stuff now, so. Um, and what made you, I mean, ex last, explain, uh, like, explain why you got to that, that point. That last, uh, <laughs> her son's at the <laughs> door. <laughs> um, what do you mean? What, what happened to what? Well, I mean, it's like, say so you say you're on stuff. Oh, yeah, so what stuff. do you, what I just you feel like on? crap. Why? why? Feel, feeling crap. Feeling like crap. Hormones were crap. Um, so yeah, I can't, I won't be able to compete in natural organizations anymore, which kind of sucks. And I got to figure out what I'm doing because mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't look the part of, yeah, natural organizations. <laughs> um, so that sucks, but well, I feel better I kinda feel like though, a little bit anyway. <clears throat> well, I mean, it's helped for sure, but you know, it's, it's sad. I think that like, I get the whole point of natural organizations. I really do. But when you're a competitor and you have competed for years, I think there's a huge difference in just getting your hormones back to a normal level and going extreme. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I feel like there should be some kind of you know i want to go mid extreme <laughs> i feel like there should be That's some sort I of do. i don't know what the word is i'm looking for a grace of some sort of right you know, I don't there, know. if there's a reason there's a reason and honestly and i feel like you know what if your hormones are tanked like you feel like death like if you feel like death and and you need something to get you back to normal i think it should be allowed yeah i mean well so i i'm already i was already on a hormone because i'm a type 1 diabetic and insulin is a hormone that your body produces so 
and oh, I was already you, you got you got questioned about that a lot. Yeah, well, at I the got questioned. I got questioned one time about that at a competition where it was. Oh, like, so only once? I yeah. thought it was every polygraph. No, you just no, one. just one. I'm one of the polygraphs in the OCB that it was a uh, an issue. That was my first. That was my first pro show, and it was a. Uh, I got asked about seven times if I'd been using insulin <laughs> as a like. Um, yeah, as like a as like a, a one up, like as an advantage. Was I using it to my advantage? That was that was what I was asked. I'm like, man, anybody that wants to ask a type one diabetic if they're using insulin as a as an advantage in bodybuilding, they should just spend one day as a diabetic. They would just they change their tune. It's it's ridiculous. So I mean, so anyhow, I was already on that hormone. Um, but yeah. So, you know, if you can't compete in a natural organization on hormones, um, like other than insulin, what are you left with? I mean, NPC and, you know, that's, that's different. So I guess that's where I'll be going. I'll compete with her. <laughs> we'll start doing competitions together again. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like I, you know, I'm, I'm 50 <laughs> and it's like, how much more gro I'm, growth is sort of, it's really hard. Yeah. It's really, really, really hard. <laughs> and as you know, I've said it before as a female, especially as you age, it gets harder and you can't beat the you can't beat the clock people. no if you it's, want to do something in your life i suggest you do it before you it does get, get harder older, and harder man. and every competition gets harder and every competition gets harder to cut it gets harder to gain muscle every year it's i mean i like a challenge don't get me wrong mm -hmm. but i definitely don't want to go the opposite direction so when you think about it being a lifestyle, just know that as you age, it is going to be more challenging. It's not going to get easier. Nothing gets easier as you get older, especially not like in the bodybuilding world. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I think, I think once you get to that age, I want to be the outlier I'm like, though, you I'm, know? I'm sitting here like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, um, there's a lot of like IFBB pros and stuff out there that it's, they still look great past their forties. I mean, and, uh, I mean, shoot, Dexter Jackson retired at 50. And I mean, you know, you want to talk about crazy genetics, like, but, but that's an uphill battle. I mean, if you're, if you haven't been in this forever, I guess, I mean, I've only been doing this for seven years and you know, now I'm 42. You know, what do I, oh, she's been doing this for forever. So I mean, she's, I've been doing this. She's at least like got that base. Years. I'm like, well, I've only been doing this for seven years. So, but we'll say, um, well, really 12, like 12 dedicated yeah, so years. Six, five for me, I guess, five dedicated years. Um, really, where I've been a bodybuilder. But so, I mean, what do I hope to achieve out of this? I guess what you everybody needs to ask themselves, I guess, is wherever you are in life is what are you trying to achieve and you know in canopy? I'm I'm looking at like, well, if I go compete in the NPC now, um, I'm gonna have to do something different. And what are my goals, you know, just to compete because I like competing? You know, what do I what do I hope to get out of that? Um, you know, and how far am I willing to go that's right that's what everybody has to ask themselves you're not going to beat the clock right baby i'm gonna beat the clock she's gonna beat the clock see i'm aging backwards she's aging backwards she's the curious case <laughs> of benjamin buttons over here i'm gonna be <laughs> like a couple years y'all i'm gonna hit 30 yeah so i'm working on it anyway so there's that is there anything else so 
We did our updates. Oh, we, I, did, we did our pictures this I, week. I turned what are, seven years sober. Seven years. Seven years sober. June 1st. So that's. Which was a big, big win. That's a big win. That's huge, y'all. Yeah. If you want to gain in the gym, put the bottle down. That'll do it. I will tell you what, <laughs> you are not going to change your physique. No. If you don't stop. I'm going to tell you what, there's you pictures drink, of me. That was seven years ago. There are pictures of me from seven years ago. I look seven years older than I do right now. The totally different body style. And I mean, I tell people you can, you can have a drink. Yeah. We're not talking about, I, I'm I talking like one. I didn't quit drinking like one drink, like on the weekends or I didn't quit drinking, you know, a beer every night. I mean, I don't, if you had one if i think that even a man if you had i wouldn't even say nightly though because like day daily yeah. intake so the problem with alcohol is a lot okay first of all you know <laughs> alcohol when you drink alcohol that is your body's sole focus is it has to process the alcohol so alcohol actually stops fat oxidation if you're changing your body and you're trying to gain lean muscle, lean muscle is going to help get rid of fat. It just will. Like if you're doing it the right way, as long as you're not eating like tons extra calories, but when you drink regularly, that kind of stops all of that stuff from going on. Like muscle protein synthesis is not going on if your body's dealing with alcohol processing. So not having alcohol is huge as far as achieving your goals whether it's muscle gain or fat loss and usually those kind of go together body recomposition whatever you can have some but there's a there's a fine line there because a lot of people it's like one and you know have to have a glass of wine every night well what are your goals because if you want those goals bad enough you're going to get them a lot better if you're not drinking and a lot of people don't even realize yeah. the extent to which alcohol is going to slow them down. And just like him, like his body is totally different. And I'm not so sure that like, even if he were lifting because you really weren't lifting, I wasn't lifting. Until, I wasn't, you know, yeah. until like you stopped drinking, but think about <clears throat> if you were lifting like you are now, even if you drank, like if you drank, you would still, you would not have the body that you do. Yeah, I don't know. You not would not have like the that. physique. Not. I wouldn't I, have had time to go to the gym. I spent it all drinking. Well, even people that, <laughs> that go to the gym and just say it's even like social drinking on the weekends, but it's like a Friday, Saturday, sometimes <laughs> Thursday. This is like my college years. You know, like, it, it, college years, it all started on Thursday night and it went like Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, and then like sometimes into Sunday. So you had more days that you were drinking than not drinking. And it was usually pretty good consumption. Yeah. So if that's the case, I look at like when I started lifting, I was in college. And I was probably drinking a, a lot. I, I mean, I was pretty fat. Like I didn't weigh a lot, but I didn't have any muscle either. And I don't think I could have gained any muscle because my body was too busy processing alcohol. Yeah. So if you're not gaining, <laughs> look at your whole lifestyle of, of what you do. Because if you've got a lot of alcohol in there. Alcohol is bad enough for you. And then I'm, we got off on this. No now. Yeah. And then it's everybody drinks yeah i mean so there's beer that's probably the least of your concerns it's those sugary ass drinks because then you're oh, just screwing all kinds of shit up with that <laughs> it's ridiculous because you got all them sugar calories you're not using them because you're sitting your ass at the bar and then when you drink, then you don't care what you eat yeah, and then afterwards. You're probably eating garbage while you're out drinking. You're drinking sugary drinks. Sugar's getting just you packed don't, right you in there. You don't give a crap, crap what you eat after you've been drinking because then your body just like wants something to metabolizing help. Metabolizing alcohol and it's got to do something with it. So it turns it into 
carbon dioxide and sugar. So then it's got to store that on top of the sugar that you consumed with the alcohol. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. It's, it's, it's a whole, <clears throat> it's a whole battle. So if to, to really make the best goals in the gym, <sighs> try to not drink anything for best a month goals for anything. Yeah. and see what happens. Mm. Just see what your body does differently. Most yeah. people go through the same cycles it's over and over. Remember, see, alcohol is the fourth macro. It counts. That's and you can count it and you can figure it in and like um, you can factor it into your calories if you have a drink for the day. But I'm telling you, if you have more than a couple and it's especially like a sugary drink, it can be fat, it can be carbs, calorie wise, like if you're tracking but it can't be protein. Yeah. And then you're going to have all of your carbs shot for the day. <laughs> and I personally, I'd rather eat my carbs. You know, but that's just me. Yeah. So what else? Oh, right, so what's going on in the gym now? So we're trying to get big. Trying to get big. <laughs> so we're trying to get big. We're, we're working on that. Yep. Um, I've started moving. Have, you, have your calories have your calories gone up? No. Where, I've been where are you at chest. with your macros, and how long have you been there? Um, over a month. And I'm. I don't know. I'm like at thirty nine hundred calories. We'll call it that. It feels like so much food, and it's not really. I've got. I don't know. I'm full all the time. He's got some kind of digestive. I'm like I got, I got a digestive on. problem or something. I've started taking like digestive enzymes even like it's ridiculous and i mean i'm not even eating like garbage you know i feel like i could eat garbage better i mean you see like breakfast every morning it's like eggs toast and, uh, yogurt vegetable or uh, like a spinach vegetable yeah i mean spinach is a vegetable some kind of berry and i'm like shoot now i just eat the spinach the berries i usually put my eggs into a like, protein shake and it's like one egg i don't even eat multiple eggs and i'm just not even hungry it's ridiculous what about you what are you eating i'm hungry all the time she's crazy <laughs> um she's at that point where I she can still know. eat um I want to say I'm about 22 or 2300, maybe could, yeah. could be more. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm gaining on the scale. I am gaining, you know, each week a little bit, which you don't want to gain too much too fast, but I don't think I need to go up anymore um, in my calories right now because I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm gaining. So I think that that's, you want a kind of a steady gain, but it, you want it to be smaller. So it's not a whole lot of body fat. Although, you know, after a competition, especially you, you have to get your body fat back up. And I'm but not. We're going to have a big plane going by now. Yeah. I'm not really gaining anymore. I've been I've been right around that 215, 216 now for several weeks. I'm still not hungry though. <laughs> I don't know what So, the, you know, what's the what's the consensus on so what do you do if what do you do if you're not gaining and you want to gain and you can't eat but you're not hungry? I don't know. Should you should you bump your calories up anyway? <laughs> I don't know how much more I don't want to gain really anything. Like, I feel like I've put on fat. You don't want to gain. You want you're good where you are. Yeah. Like maybe recomp, like knock the fat down a little bit. Your, and, your body fat, you mean? Yeah. Try that out. I haven't been hungry in a while. Well, see, so this is what I'm saying. It's should, like should at that out. point, I feel like as coach i need to do a mini cut i would say probably do like maybe just a four like a four week mini cut because if you get if you sometimes 
if your body fat gets to the point where like you don't want it a whole lot more if you feel like you're at that yeah. top end of your body fat percentage a lot of times that will affect your hunger too and like getting a little bit of body fat off will sort of like restore that i'm right at the point you need to get the hunger signals back where am i um I've lost the I've lost my ad definition. So I'm somewhere around thirteen or fourteen percent. Just lost the ab definition. Lost the ab definition. Me too. Yeah. No, you haven't. You're a liar. She's <laughs> ridiculous. I don't have any ab definition right now. <laughs> she doesn't have any abs. She's a liar. She's got abs. She has she has like a 20 pack. <laughs> she, she's got abs. But so maybe you do need to yeah. get your body fat percentage Probably down do. a little bit. So maybe between, you know, over the next four weeks. Nice. Whatever you do. Let's some, at some point. Let's, let's, reset the your, let's reset your macros. Reset them. Zero. Can't be zero. <laughs> doesn't work just need a day or two where i don't eat then i'll be hungry you know you're the typical person in the world <laughs> just won't have any carbs i just won't eat anything i'll just do and then keto I'll, lose I'll, weight. Do, I'll do a cleanse yeah you need to do it i'm gonna do a juice cleanse with a cleanse. keto follow-up i'll be so healthy it'll be the healthiest you guys have never seen such amazing diets <laughs> Well, anyway, so that's probably about it for our update today, right? I guess. We haven't done one in a so while. So we'll, we'll just, be... We're out of the loop. We're not very good at we it We should be <laughs> actually on the right date now um, as far as our uploads because now we have run out of all of the past things since the whole time up to my competition. We lost like a month of time. If y'all are um, our subscribers, please subscribe. that we she, well i say we we her uploaded like three videos this last week i uploaded several we were trying to catch up from my show By we need we, to put some she, me um <laughs> you know put in some show footage here and you know, here it and helps so much it helps so so much if y'all comment if you like if you share subscribe if you have not just you know tell one friend if you tell yeah. one friend and tell them to subscribe to subscribe we're a small channel maybe we, if we got more we, subscribers we could, yeah. we could get bigger we would love to grow we and we have to have your help so if you're here <laughs> then we know you care so yeah. share but thanks for being here caring is sharing right sharing is caring. sharing is caring <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what i meant so anyway oh thank goodness. you all for being here and we will see you um on the next one bye bye